Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about drivers and uh, custom properties. Uh, using a mix of those two uh, features of Blender, we'll be creating a material switch. In fact, this is not a material switch. Technically, we are replacing the node, the flow of nodes in the shader editor or in the material editor. Uh, let me show you what uh, what we can do here with this material switch. I have different uh, shaders applied to this object and depending on the number that I choose here, it will replace the shader. This is not just the color, it's replacing the shader. And to do this, we have to use a combination of drivers and uh, custom properties. In case you never used either of those uh, two features, let's get started. I will explain step by step what you have to do to create this custom property. First thing, we can create a new file, a new project. I will be replacing this bottom editor with the shader editor. And let me set this to material preview. And now I will make a copy of this principled BSDF. Like I said, I'm not replacing just the color, it's the entire uh, workflow here or the, or the flow of data in the material, in the shader editor. Let me set this bottom color to green and the upper color here to red. Now, the secret to use or the key to use this uh, feature is to use your mix shader. How the mix shader works? It makes both uh, of those shaders using this number here in the fact. If you set that to zero, it will move to the lower or the upper input socket on the left. If you set that to one, it will change to the upper or sorry, to the lower input socket. So this one here is zero, which is, let me just invert that. It will make it easier to understand. No, I think if, if we leave it like this, it will make more sense because this will be zero and this will be one. Now we have to find a way to control here this fact with a custom property. First thing we have to do is to create the custom property. In case you never used uh, custom properties in Blender, they are here under the uh, properties editor, the object tab. We have custom properties uh, at the bottom and you can add a new one with the object selected. It will create a new custom property. Uh, click uh, on the gear to open the options and we can change this to integral because we need uh, full numbers or uh, entire uh, uh, integer numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3. It will start with 0 and it will have a minimum value of 0 and 1. We can call this material switch. Let me hit OK and we have a custom property. And if you expand here the sidebar, all custom properties, they, they appear here at the bottom. You can change them. Right now, they are not doing anything. We have to add a driver. The driver is one of the best ways to make this connection because it will be, uh, it will connect or it will uh, send inf it will receive information from this custom property and change your mix shader uh, fact. To do this, we have to come here into the custom properties, right click and copy this data path. You will need this to set up your driver. If I right click in the mix shader here at the fact and choose add driver, we'll be able to select and add that information. But uh, before that, we have to select what we want to edit or connect with this uh, or, or control with this, da with this uh, driver. Click on this option and choose single property because we just want to control one single property. We need to select an object. It's the cube. You can uh, 
control or uh, send information from basically any object on your scene uh, to that uh, with that dr uh, driver. And here we need the path for the custom property. We'll be pasting that. Just press Control V and paste this information. Now I I need to send this information using that variable. You can write uh, expressions, but we don't need it. You can see that we have a variable here called var. I will just pass the entire variable with no math applied. And it's basically done. If you change now the material switch, you can notice that the mix shader will change to one and it will replace or re uh, redirect the flow of data and it will ignore this node. Let me erase this. It will ignore this node here with effect of one and only use this one here at the top. And this is it. This is the basic principle. But one time uh, I was explaining this exact same method uh, once and someone asked me, what if I want to add a third shader? Can, uh, can we do it with this uh, method? Sure but it will require some additional nodes. Let's add a blue color. Let's make things a little more fun here. So I will be changing here my numbers to make it easier for us to create an expression. This will be the number one, this will be the number two, and this will be the number three. Now, to get all of those elements uh, connected, we will need a few additional mix shaders. So I will place my material input here and I will duplicate the mix shader here and I will duplicate the mix shader here. So I will connect this one and this one here. Now, as you can see from the flow of data, it's ignoring our, our fact from the mix shader, uh, from the, uh, these uh, two options here at the bottom. And it's sending the blue color. And let's change this here uh, to use a default value of one. And it will start with one and end with three because we have three colors now. Okay. So if I set it to one, two, and three, it's using the exact same amount for all three. Let's fix our uh, flow of data now. And uh, we will need uh, additional mix shaders. Let me maximize it again so we can control how uh, those, we need another one here. I will cut the, these connections and we can connect the red one here at the bottom and the green one here at the top. At the upper socket, we'll connect this output. We will need another mix shader. Uh, I told you it, was, it would be a lot more fun to use this. Actually, I will need this one here and I will need another mix shader here at the bottom. And I will connect this one here at the bottom and this one will be at the top. So here's the logic. We have to find a way we will control the flow of data with uh, one or two with this driver. And if we get a value of three, we have to turn both of these here off and send just the blue color to the material output. So we need another driver here. And to do this, we have to change and edit this driver. I will right click, go into edit driver and this expression now, uh, if I send the var directly 
we will have a problem because it will use one and send this uh, to the fact and one will be uh, of course one and two will go up and it still be one because a fact will only take either uh, any number between zero and one and we need that to be either zero or one to get that just need a simple expression if we subtract one it means uh when this number here is uh zero it will be minus one. Oh, sorry not zero we we are not using zero anymore when it's one it will be zero when it's two it will be one because we are subtracting one let's make a test i will just disconnect here or change our fact to zero so it will ignore the blue color it's not sending the green one because we need to turn off the green here if it's one it will set the fact to zero if it's two it will send it will set the fact to one so it's sending it's it's changing the the flow of data based on what we have here And for this control, depending on what we have, it will ignore the input from the green and red and send it to blue. But how can we control it from here? I will add another driver, right click, add driver. I will right click here, copy data, copy data path. Let's edit this driver. And here I will do the exact same thing, selecting the cube, pasting the value of our custom property. And here we need another simple expression. We need a way to uh, tell this expression uh, to use for one and two, it will be zero or anything below zero. And if it's three, it will be one. You can just subtract two because uh, when you subtract two from uh, this value it will be either uh, if it's three it will become one if it's uh, two it will become uh, zero and if it becomes uh, one it will go minus one and it will turn off the blue i hope it makes sense not sure if i'm explaining it uh, correctly with all of those uh, expressions if we test this, setting it to one, it will become green. Setting it to two, it will become red. Setting it to three, it will become blue. Again, it's the same material. You can uh, connect, those are principled BSDF. You can connect an entire tree of nodes here with each one of those materials you can add textures you can add a lot more information and change those uh, controls based on your simple material switch and this is how you can use uh, drivers and uh, custom properties uh, to create this type of control i hope it uh, helped you to understand this feature and you can use it on your project this is uh, especially important for assets you can add for instance this uh, those controls into a furniture model you can create different variations for a uh, materials for textures uh, one of those controls can uh, change from uh, for instance a chair with uh, different types of leather different types of uh, fabric uh, the uh, possibilities here are endless and uh, can we add a fourth shader yes but for that i will leave you uh, with this information with this tutorial you can have fun trying to add a fourth uh, principled bsdf here so i hope you liked it uh, i hope you liked this tutorial if you think it will be useful for anyone trying to learn uh, blender and never use it, uh, drivers or custom properties give me a like on this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more tutorials in the future see you next time bye